Hello and welcome to the V-Ray for SketchUp series. In this episode, we will continue building our scene. In the previous episode, we were able to create diversity in our exterior by spreading different types of plants with the help of the V-Ray scatter. In this episode, I will show you how easy it is to furnish the interior of this house. Before we start thinking about placements and compositions, let's set up the render settings and camera view. Let's start V-Ray Vision as I think we will have a better sense of our interior. While in Vision, we will lock the camera. Now, when we switch to the overview scene, you can see that Vision does not switch cameras. The effect is similar to stopping the live link of the camera from Vision. But this option can be used in the VFB as well. I have previously made a section plane which will show the entire house interior. Now, we can start thinking of how to furnish our interior. I've decided that this part will be the living room area. The dining space will be here and the kitchen will be here. Let's open the Chaos Cosmos browser and start adding the bigger interior objects. That way we can block out the important parts and once we feel like the interior spaces complement each other, we can start adding detail and accessories. After we position the main assets, it's time for the accessories. When adding detail, we always want to spread objects like someone has used them earlier. We need to have the feeling that someone is living in the house. I personally like a bit of a mess in the interior, as it tells a story. Maybe someone was late for work, so they left quickly without cleaning the table or the kitchen. This way, the viewer can relate to the image. Little details like this will add spark of life to your interior. This was the final episode of building our scene. In this episode, I demonstrated how I approach furnishing an interior scene. Thanks to the Chaos Cosmos, we achieved it with ease. In the next episode, we'll cover some shading tips as well as the V-Ray Sun and Sky parameters. I hope you found something useful and helpful that you will use in your personal work. Thank you for being part of the V-Ray experience.